How's it going everybody? My name is Gravano. Welcome to Let's Play Oblivion Part 64. In this part, we're continuing right along in the uh, Knights of the Nine uh, quest line here. As you can see here, we've already recovered two of the, what, I don't know, however many relics. We have the Helmet of the Crusader. We also have the Curious of the Crusader. We're going to be rolling with all this stuff of the Crusader. We also have a Knights of the Nine shield. And all this stuff is based on, uh, like, the Holy Wars, Templars, and all that sort of stuff. It looks very, very similar. Even the shield, I'm pretty sure. Um, Alright, so our active quest is Priority of the Nine. Priory of the Nine. I've recovered the Curious of the Crusader. I should talk to the ghosts of the former Knights of the Nine to see if they can aid me in my quest for the remaining Crusader's relics. And that's like um, the mace. I think there's also a sword. I think there's uh, greaves. There is gauntlets. And that might be it. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's talk to this guy who is Sir Amiel. By the Nine. I've not seen such strength. Could you be... No, you cannot. You are simply a noble knight. Okay, um, Helm of the Crusader. You completed the quest that I could not. I'm glad that my death at least served to lead you here, as I had hoped. Okay, Knights of the Nine. The original Order of the Nine was founded with the intention of safekeeping the Crusader's relics. In life, we failed at this task. In death, we seek to preserve what while we wait for one to come and finish what we can. Okay, and Sir Beric, which I have no idea who that is or what significance he has with this quest. One of the mightiest knights of my day. It was a great boost to the Order's prestige when he joined. Unfortunately, he and I did not see eye to eye on certain matters. He left the Order during the War of the Red Diamond and never returned. Well, that's unfortunate. So I guess we don't really need to talk to that guy. We need to talk to these uh, three, six, seven guys. So let's talk to Gregory. How may I serve you, Commander? Knights of the Nine. Okay, you have nothing to say. What about you? I am. You have nothing to say. What about well, you? I wish to see you succeed where I failed. I was on the path to the boots of the Crusader, but died before I reached them. Do you wish to learn what little I know? Okay, there we go. Uh, tell me more. I cannot tell you exactly how to find the boots. That will be up to Kinneret. I can tell you to seek out the priests, though. West of the Imperial City, on the edge of the Great Forest, is a shrine. You will find them there, and they will tell you what you need to know. Okay, so Kinneret is the god of, like, uh, you know, hunting and animal stuff and all that sort of things. So, and all those sort of things, so it would make sense that the boots go with her because it's speed and... Etc. Um, okay, Boots of the Crusader, Knights of the Nine. Alright, can we start on all these quests or do we have to do like one after the other? Uh, Sir Beric, Knights of the Nine. Yeah, it looks like we have to probably do the boots first. I know. Would you listen to my tale and learn of the Gauntlet's faith? Okay, this guy has one too. Please tell me. When the Order fractured, I followed Sir Beric into war, taking the Gauntlet's with me. When it was over, I returned to Syria. I attempted to return to the service of the Nine, but the war had changed me. I no longer had sympathy for the war or pity for the suffering. In the brief time I was there, I did more to hurt the chapel than help it. It was there that I was cursed. I just noticed this guy's name is Sir Casimir, and uh, one of the most famous songs that's in the Game of Thrones lore is the Reigns of Casimir. Or Castamir. I think it's Castamir. Anyways, Curse, what do you mean? A beggar who came to the chapel each day for help tried my patience one too many times. I lost my temper and struck him. My blow landed harder than I had intended, and he fell to the floor dead, killed in the very chapel of the God of Mercy. I left the chapel at once, of course, and the damage was done. I was weak possibly weary, and lacked the energy to do almost anything. Okay, uh, what about the gauntlets? Ah, yes. As proof of the deed, when I struck the poor man, the gauntlet slipped right off my hands and fell to the floor. Heavy as stone, they would not move. None could lift them. I suspect they lie there still, in Coral's chapel. You must prove to stand on. You are worthy to lift the gauntlets once more. Seek out the priests in Coral. 
Perhaps they can help you. Okay, so it looks like we got a sword in the stone thing going on with gauntlets. Uh, boots of blah blah, curse. Okay, uh, gauntlets and knights of the nine. So it looks like some of these guys do have the quest, whereas others just don't say anything. You have my tribute, sir knight. Yes. But for the first time, it seems that some... Yes. And now, I must ask you to press forward where I could not. I must ask you to face the challenge of Zenithar. Okay, um, what must I do? Below the chapel of Zenithar in Lair, there is a shrine to the great craftsman, St. Callus. Those seeking the mace must pray before the shrine. When you bow, you will receive a vision. Or perhaps not, it is unclear. The priest saw that my body never moved, but it felt so real. You will see the mace separated from you by a great chasm. The chasm represents your doubt. Your faith must be your guide across it. Okay, so it sounds like we've got an Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade thing going on here. My faith will guide me? This is what I know. As I said, my faith was weak. I did not understand the test, and I fell from the platform each time I tried to cross. I have told you all that I know. All that is left is for you to prove yourself more worthy than I. If you seek the mace, travel to Leowin's Chapel, kneel at the shrine in the Undercroft, and let your faith in the Nine be the salvation of us all. Okay, so we have quests for the gauntlets, the mace, and the boots currently. Um, let's run through all this stuff. Okay, and we have one more guy to talk to. Uh, what do you mean? When the order crumbled, I set out on my own. After years of searching, I found the shield and brought it to Fort Bulwark for safekeeping. With the help of a few trusted friends, I began work to keep the shield safe for all eternity. I never saw my work finished. I died defending the fort from those who would take and misuse the shield. I never saw our work finished. I trust that the others carried on without me. Okay, uh, Fort Bulwark, um, Julianos, Knights of the Nine, Mace of Xenathar, Shield of the Crusader. Alright, so we have quests for everything pretty much. Just want to double check that these guys don't have any quests. Okay, so let's take a look at our quest journal here. Wisdom of the Ages, that is the Shield one. Path of the Righteous, that is the Mace. Uh, Sendar's Mercy is the Gauntlets. Nature's Fury is the Boots. What do you guys want me to do? We have four choices here. I am going to do the gauntlets first, actually, because the gauntlets is one of the more interesting ones, in my opinion. So, Gazmir has told me the gauntlets of the Crusader are located in the Chapel of Sendar and Coral. I must travel there and figure out how to retrieve them. So, it's not a matter about getting to the gauntlets, because if you remember, they're too heavy to be picked up. I've spoken with the Ghosts of the Knights of the Nine and learned where several parts of the armor in the Crusader are hidden. I should return when I have collected them all. And there was like three guys that didn't talk to us about stuff, so I think once we get all this stuff, then we can talk to them and they'll give us another task to do. But for now, we are going to head over to Coral and see why and see if we can pick up those gauntlets. It shouldn't be that hard, right? We should just be able to walk up to it and pick it up. Um, to Coral we go. Okay, we are in the Chapel of Stendar, and as expected, we have a green quest marker, which should mean... Uh-oh. What is going on here? Okay, I thought, that was, I thought that was enemies, like, appearing, but it looks like there's, like, a glitch or something, or a bug, where this guy just keeps activating this uh, altar of Talos. Funny! Anyways, over here we have the gauntlets. There they are, right there. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and pick them up. The gauntlets are too heavy to move, unfortunately. So I think we need to talk to one of these people. Let's talk to this guy. Uh, the Gauntlets of the Crusader bring me here. Ah, yes. The Gauntlets have been here for ages. I know only the basic story behind them. They're more of a novelty these days. My only real involvement with them these days is keeping the youngsters from hurting themselves trying to pick the Gauntlets up. What is your interest in them, if I may ask? Um, I've come to retrieve them, actually. Oh, I'm afraid that's quite impossible. They don't move. Not even a bit, as if they're the heaviest things in the world. Don't you know the story behind them? I'm not, uh, familiar with all the details, but I know roughly what happened. I don't care, I uh, you guys want to hear the story? I don't care, I want to. I'm telling you, you can't pick them up. Try it yourself if you won't believe me. Well, if you won't listen to me, then go ask Kellen. He's descended from the very knight who was cursed. 
He'll tell you the same thing. Well, isn't that convenient? Um, is this him? No, it's not. What's this say? Ardil, Ar uh, Arlder, a priest of Stendar, has told me that the gauntlets of the Crusader cannot be moved. I should speak with Kellen, a descendant of Sir Casimir, to learn more. But where is he at? You would think he would be in here. Is it? Do we have to go out here or do we have to go down here? He might be in the Undercroft or the Chapel Hall. Yes, indeed, he is in here. All right, buddy, where are you at? There you are. What is it? Is there a cure? Has Arelder found a cure? I know there's something he's not telling me. Uh, Gauntlets of the Crusader. You've seen them, I assume. The only evidence of what happened so many years ago. Do you know that I thought perhaps I could lift them? That somehow this curse would be lifted if I could pick them up? I tried for hours until my whole body ached and I could barely move. I lay there on the floor next to them, weeping. I'm not ashamed to admit that. I've been at the end of my rope for far too long to be ashamed of anything. Well, that is depressing. Uh, can you tell me anything more? I don't know why they're still here. They're so heavy, and I'm so weak. What does Stendhal want from me? I, I have no idea. What about the curse? Ah, uh, so you've heard it. When I was younger, I could live with you. It wasn't so bad. But until it got me worse all the time, I'd come here. The place it all happened. In the hopes that something could be done. I fear I haven't much time left on the lot. The elder has let me stay, mostly out of pity, I think. But there's something else. Hmm, so it would seem that Aureldor has the key to this. I've seen plenty of pity in people's eyes over the years. I grew up recognizing it. But with Aureldor, there's something else there. And when he speaks to me, there are times I'd swear he sounds apologetic. Guilty, even. Why would that be? What reason does he have to hold back information? I know I'm a doomed man one way or the other. Speak to him if you can. Convince him to tell me what he knows as a dying man's last wish. Well, my friend Kellen, I will try. So it seems this guy is uh, hiding something that he doesn't want us to know. So I'm guessing we're going to have to persuade him into telling us exactly what we want to know. Where are you? There you are. Welcome, Knight Commander. Uh, a curse. It's a horrible thing, truly. Yes, it is a horrible but, thing. But if it is the will. Mm hmm. Um, gauntlets. The gauntlets have been here. Yeah. They'll almost certainly be here long after. Uh huh. Uh, Kellen. I. I cannot face him. I, I know what might be done for him, but I haven't the will to do it. I wish I could help him. Truly, I do. But I cannot muster the strength to damn myself on his behalf. What are you talking about? The curse. I know what would lift it, but I cannot do it. The only way to free Kellen of his curse is to take it on myself. I am not strong enough to do this, and so I am a failure. I fail Kellen every time I speak to him, and I fail Stendhal every time I pray to him and do not ask for the power to lift the curse. Do you know one who would do such a thing? One who would pray at this chapel's altar? Pray to Stendar for the power to lift this curse? Well, I think I do. <laughs> and that, unfortunately, is going to be myself. Looks like we need to pray here and take Kellen's curse on. Um, hopefully it's not going to be that bad of a curse. Do you wish to pray to Stendar for the power to lift Kellen's curse? Yes. I've prayed at the altar in the Chapel of Sindar and have been granted the ability to lay hands on Kellen. I need to see him at once. So I don't think we actually have the curse just yet. I think we need to use this ability on Kellen and that will give us whatever he's afflicted with. Which I think is like a fatigue drain or something. Like a pretty significant fatigue drain. Um, Alright, so let's see if we can equip this uh, spell or whatever. Lay hands. Lay hands on touch. Restore fatigue 10 points on touch. Let's equip that and... I've lifted the curse. 
from Kellen, which means taking it on myself. As a result, I am weary and my fatigue has been affected. With the curse lifted, I can now retrieve the gauntlets of the Crusader. Oh, you? How did you? I feel good. I feel good. I don't feel like death. I feel like running. Well, that's wonderful news, friend. Why don't you go ahead and do that? There you go. Let's look at him run. And now we have a curse, though, which is called Curse of the Consumed or something. Let's just see what that is. Curse of the Consumed. Um, not really telling me what it really does, but it is drain fatigue. So let's see if we jump. I guess our fatigue just uh, recovers at a way slower pace. But anyways, now we're able to grab the gauntlets. So let's do that. There we go. I've recovered the gauntlets of the Crusader. I've completed Sir Casimir's quest by recovering the gauntlets of the Crusader. I should continue to search for the relics that the other ghost knights were questing for. And do we still have that? Yeah, we do. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how to remove it. Did that do it? No, it didn't. So maybe we just have that forever now? I don't think that's how it is. Let's talk to this guy just to see. I can't believe you were willing to do that for Kellen. To sacrifice your own well-being without hesitation. What business do I have acting as a priest if I'm not willing to do all I can in helping those who need it? Perhaps I need to rethink my calling. Perhaps. Perhaps indeed. Um, so is that quest ended? I should continue to search for the relics that the other ghost knights were questing for. Okay, so we'll probably get our affliction resolved at the end of this whole thing, but let's go ahead and equip those gauntlets. Light armor, fortify, restoration, 8 points, resist disease, 50% on self. So pretty good. There we go. And we also got Merciful Touch, which is a spell. What is that? Restore health 50 points on touch. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so what's next? Um, the shield or the mace or the boots. I'm thinking the mace. And for that, we need to head over to Leowen. I'm going to end this episode here, though, a little bit early, I know. But uh, I think it would be better to end the episode than just to start on something completely new and have to stop it, like, a little bit into it. So thank you all for watching this episode. Hope you guys are looking forward to the next one. My name is Grovel. <sighs> Have a great day. Goodbye. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed that video, help me out by liking it, adding it to your favorites, and sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and follow my social pages as well as my Twitch channel. The links are in the description below. Finally, if you want to subscribe and or watch another video that's probably going to be related to this one, you can click the big ol' annotations on the screen. Thanks for stopping by and have a great day.